Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and uh. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we- And yes, my head is bald <laughs> again. Yeah, I went back. Hey. Did a lot of people s Cause most of the time you have a hat on over well, here. Well, sometimes I take it off and they see my hair. Yeah. So before they ask, I go on and tell you. You, you go ahead and volunteer the information. Yeah. On. We're a little late tonight, so we sorry. We had things to do. Yeah. I had a nail appointment today. You know, got to do things. So, things to do and people to see. Queen Sugar. Not a lot happened, but a lot happened. So this may be a little lengthy. Y'all know how we do. Y'all sit back, relax, do what y'all got to do. I don't grab think your popcorn. Be that you know, if you're a new family member, welcome to the family. We're glad to have you over yeah. here. If you're an old family member, y'all know what to do. We'll continue the conversation down in the comment section don't yeah. forget to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff you can dislike the video if you want to don't matter that's you all here already yeah. every vote counts but um delicate and strangely made hmm. was the title of this here episode and that can speak to so many parts uh -huh. of this thing but we're gonna start off with Aunt Vi, and i think i'm gonna get her out the way first Aunt Vi's assistant that she been working the dog crap out of <laughs> look her kid's sick she can't come in. So she called Nova. Basically, Violin told Nova. Yeah, she told her. You um, will help you will help me make some pies today. And you about the only one that can follow my recipes to the tea. So get your hand over here. You know. Nova trying to get that book done, but this is a time where she know that she can't say no to advice. She came on over there. I think we all got them kind of um, people in our family. There's some people you just can't tell them no. You want to tell them no. You want to. But she be like, like, but she be like, he be like, Ooh, yeah, I do it. Yeah, I ask her. I'm doing it. She ain't never doing that. Why you ain't ask her? <laughs> yeah. But um, she's over there and it's. I love conversation like this. It reminds me of like back in the day with your grandma, you all in the mm -hmm. kitchen. I mean, that's how we learn how to cook. Just yeah. being in the kitchen and you know, you picking up on little tricks of the trade and whatnot, mm -hmm. and you getting some wisdom as well. Yeah, they start preaching to you out the blue. Yeah, so Unva is basically telling Nova, you know, this is a point in my life where I never thought I would be here. You know, I was always told by my mom that I was destined to be somebody's wife mm -hmm. or somebody's mother. Right now, she ain't neither. Yeah, neither. You know? But she said, I always knew that I had dreams. I just didn't know how big they would be. And now I'm at a point where everything is kind of falling in line and falling into place. And Hollywood wants to focus on this wedding and getting married. But now I just she really just feels like at 60 or 60 some, yeah. She's really just coming into her own. Mm -hmm. And she wants to grab every straw that life Every is, good that come my yeah. way, I want to take, I want to stop it and all she was up. like, yes. should I feel bad for that? Hell no. And Nova was like, no. And, um, you know, now Nova's picking up little bits and pieces that she could use in her book and whatnot. And, you know, talking about, you know, a black woman that basically had her path chosen for her that mm -hmm. decided to go against the grain of what everybody else thought she should be doing. Yeah. And now she has her own business. And not only that, she's doing it with an illness. Now, if I was like, now that's what the old head come in at. Ah, da, da. Nah, I don't want nobody to know my weakness. <laughs> you can tell them about the good parts, but what you're not going to do is tell everybody I got Z's. But. I understand, oh, I understand. Uh, where she's coming from. Maybe maybe not <coughs> cover her weakness at the ground floor because she's still growing. Yeah, because that can But stop when you. she become a multi-billion dollar business, then tell her. Yeah, because right now people be right like, now oh, be you like, a you got, Yeah, you a liability. You know, we do contracts with you and then next thing you know, you die. Then then all of our money is wasted that we invested in. Exactly. And you already older, so you already at that disadvantage. Yeah, so don't even so tell her. So we think. Yeah. So anyway, we still got... Remy has been blowing up Nova's phone this entire time. He he blew up her phone before she even went over there to advise. He's still on it talking about some we need to talk. We need to talk. Pick a good time. We need to mm -hmm. talk. So now Unvado picked up on that you kind of distracted with something or someone. What the hell are you doing on that phone? Yeah. What's going on? You perplexed. So, Unvado started giving some good wisdom. Just very misdirected and not, not a, for yeah, this situation. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she she needed to open up for love, but not to Remy. Not to him. No. So, you know, you know, Nova kind of gave that look like, huh? Well, maybe I should. And I said, no, you no, mm -mm. should. Don't even think about it. Go home and smoke a joint and forget about it. Hello. 
and, and, and call somebody. Just I told them. But she had it. she had a good man. She don't want a good man. Yeah. She don't want it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Some I'm people not satisfied until they get lonely. Even though, what you call it, the white man, what his name was. God, I can't even think of it. He was a good man, the but he was married. Yeah, what was his name? God, don't I can't even. It's not with a C. What was it? it I don't matter. know. It don't, don't even matter. So, we're going to end off. Yeah. Bye. Okay, she has an actual um, dinner meeting with Mr. Rollins from the grocery store. And I was like, okay. So she get over to the house. Now the first thing that I thought in my mind, as Mike B would say, I thought maybe that she was going over there and catering something at his house. Like I didn't really realize that it was a meeting for a vibe. Yeah. So when she gets there, she sits down at the table and Mr. Rollins and his wife was basically telling them, you know, you remind me of myself. But I wasn't able to fulfill my dreams. You know, yeah, we got the grocery store and whatnot. But you really remind me of my, my mom. mother. She just had a drive that could not be stopped. And I feel like I need to get behind something like this. So what I want to do is I want to financially back you. And I want Vi's Prize Pies to be at every freezer with your face on. Yes. Just like Miss your, Mill. We're going to take your idea and my know-how. And we're going to make this thing. And I'm going to get my lawyers to put the paperwork together. But just make sure player that the Fair terms are going to be in there is going to be right. And I said, well, come on through our back. I said, Hollywood over there in Baton Rouge and you over here making money moves. But you know what's so powerful, though? I appreciate uh, Ava and them. Or Eva. I, 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 hey. Ava, yeah. Hey. And them putting it in there because sometimes you get to a certain age, you think it's too late to be successful or fulfill your dreams. It's never too late. As long as you That's breathe. what I got. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. And doesn't so, matter what obstacles yeah. you have going on as it was, well. It was powerful when she was in the kitchen. She was like, when Nova had asked her, said, well, how did you find your dream? She said, actually, it didn't. I didn't find my dream. My dream found me. She said, y'all, she said, she said, I always knew I had something with these pies because y'all couldn't stay out my goddamn kitchen. So, but the Bible say your gift will make, make room for, for you. you. Uh -huh. And you ain't got to chase it. It'll present itself. That's that, right. that doesn't mean that you don't have to work. Yeah, you got to work. Some people be like, well, no, 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 no. He brought it to you. Now work it. My, like my bitch yeah. say, work or work. <laughs> yeah. So if you still alive, you still got potential to be something great. Yeah. <laughs> and we threw that in there for free. That's for free right there. So now at this point, Davis West, 13-year-old daughter news don't hit the spot. All the blogs got it, all the magazines got it, all the news channels got it. Now, Charlie can't hide behind this shocking truth at this point. Yeah, and neither face, can yeah. Micah. Mm -mm. Charlie's trying to have a conversation with Micah about it. And Micah, you know, Micah shut down from it all. Mm -hmm, Micah yeah. is so over the boo. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, you going to work today? <laughs> you got no milk? You got no milk. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to school. So when Micah gets to school, which right now is his safe place, he realizes it's not so safe anymore. Everybody because know, huh? everybody know, and they talking mad cash money skit. Well, <laughs> seems like your daddy was doing more, more than, than playing, ball. Yeah, playing basketball. <laughs> and I should, he should have turned around and said, and how many kids do your daddy got down the street? Uh-huh. That's Prayer. in this school that look just like you, but y'all ain't supposed to acknowledge each other. Because y'all yeah. mamas is cousins. Huh? Huh? Y'all from the country. I'm from the country. I know, we how, know I how I work. I don't look at people that look like me, look like you, look like me. And wonder why the whole family crazy. And now we we older. Uh -huh. We cuz. Yep. <laughs> we were supposed to be when we was in school. <laughs> but we cuz. God darn it. I and? said, our family got a distinctive look. The cheeks, the eyes, and the nose. You one of us. And a head. My head is small. We're going to stop this. Oh, Y'all got similar size heads, man. Yeah, but my head's small. <laughs> and we don't have foreheads. <laughs> Y'all can stop looking at my forehead now. I have an average five for um forehead, but my beautician tells me that. I don't that. think I have no forehead either, though. You really don't have a forehead. Yeah. But my beautician tells me all the time, she's like, you don't have a forehead. <laughs> yeah. she, said, she said, your hairline comes down in. <laughs> I said, well, at least I got one. But anywho, so now we are gonna deal with blue. It, there's a lot going on, but Blue's teacher actually stopped Dollar and told Dollar, look, I already talked to Ralph Angel about it. Not sure if he told you about it. I said, stop being messy. Uh -huh. um, That's what you were doing. Blue has been acting up at school again. 
push a little boy off swings um i just thought that you should know okay so dollar rolls up on ralph angel out in the field and basically i'm trying to get dollar a chance but this whole this this and you ain't and you ain't doing the this and you're not doing it okay yes i need y'all to figure out this co-parenting thing and i need y'all baby to steps it. yeah you just got back here yeah you just came back you know yeah, yeah. um so she goes out there and she's basically like why didn't you tell me that he's having issues at school again now the rouse defense he been doing this yeah so i mean he never he had to really, report it to nobody yeah. so yeah. He's not used to really having a sounding boy. Yeah, you were back in the in the spotlight for a little while, but now he's readjusted again. Yeah. And you know, I I'ma leave it alone. I'ma leave it alone. But so anyway, like to me, Dollar going out of favor with you again, man. I I uh -huh. I still like her though. I'm, I'm, I'm you sure about that. that? I'm not sure. You sure? I'm trying to speak it into existence though. Oh, okay. Call those things and be not as though they were. were. Yeah. yeah. So Dollar. Because Ralph Angel has given her permission to pick Blue up from school, you know, and bring him back before bedtime. Goes over to the house, her house, nice house. Dollar, where you work at? You got a nice house, in Because she, she don't work at that parking deck no more, does she? No, you remember she worked for Charlie. And Charlie put, when she, when all this bullshit went down, Charlie gave a 30 day service. That 30 day service ain't about Oh, that's right, there. yeah, because she went from, from the parking deck to, to there, right? Yeah, she got a nice little car. Yeah. She got a nice place. Got stainless steel furniture. I mean, I'm um, appliances up in there. We Yeah, where you working is at? Is you selling hay on... Nah, I don't think she doing that. So... But she could be, though. Now Blue is at the house, and he basically... And I hate when kids do this. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Look at your bathtub. Oh, my I God. Love you, it so you got a nice big. place. Wow. Yeah. I said, oh, well, I gotta, so I gotta admit though, his her place is a whole lot better than Ralph's place. Ralph's place, you Ralph know? place looks depressing. He need to yeah. open them, them. He need to. His paint. daddy vibes is still there, man. Yeah, he need to change it. He need to change it to you know young bachelor. You know, coming on up the ranks. He just you know. need to put yellow in there. Just some with some sunshine. Well, I mean, he I don't, don't even it. like yellow it, like that. But just put yellow in there. Well, they ain't stop him from getting no puss, so he don't give a. Cause they trife. Them girl trife. He had sex with one of them outside. They try. In the shade. I don't, we don't even know. It could have been yeah. outside the truck, Father. Yeah. I know. So and they don't make them like they used to, did they? No, they don't. You can buy them at the grocery store now. <laughs> buy one, get one free. Self checkout. <laughs> so, Dollar's trying to talk to um, Blue about, okay, what's going on? Blue ain't for the skit. He don't want to talk to his mama about why he upset and why mm -hmm. he pushing people down. Well, it was Typical time for him. Kids. To, yeah, it was time for him to go home. But he wants to stay. Dollar said, no, we can work that out with your father at a later time. So now, Blue, I said, this shady. Blue said, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave Kenya with you to keep you company. company. I said, yeah, go ahead and leave the imposter. Uh-huh. Because yep. that ain't even the real Kenya. Nope. Because the real Kenya. Yeah. We remember what happened to that. Y'all going to make that me That crackhead move. She burnt that, mm -hmm. threw that back, dead home baby's doll baby away. Yep. So, eventually, Blue went ahead and told Dollar, said, listen, what's been happening at school is this little boy don't took and told me that you ain't love me no more, and that's why you left, and you won't never come back. So, basically, basically, I handled it. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, Dollar's basically telling him, you know, she's reassuring him, you know what, I love you. I love you with everything in me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm back now. It is what it is. Okay, so you can see that Blue is feeling a little bit better and reassured about itself. So, y'all need to put that baby into some, some kind of therapy or something. Because y'all yeah, just taking, y taking too, too many changes, man. Too many. He going up and down on roller coaster, man. He don't know who, which one y'all trust probably by now. Uh-huh. So, I'm going to go ahead and move forward so I can end this. And then, didn't I tell y'all last week? Didn't I tell y'all last week? Some black people you can't help. No. You try, but just, it, it starts off real good. They follow your rules in the beginning, but when you kind of relax and kind of let them do them, they take it too goddamn far. And I already said I got a problem with two felons being under the same roof and both being under restrictions. Because whatever happens to one happens to both. Both of them. Point blank, period. It's just the way it is. Yeah. So, 
Dollar comes home to bring to bring blue back. There's too many goddamn bees in here. <laughs> Dollar brings blue back home <laughs> to a whole house full of some rowdy, so, niggas. drunk, spade playing niggas. Uh, that she doesn't know. And neither does Blue. And Blue is like, hold on, wait a minute, who this? And to make matters worse, she said, where is Ralph? And one of them said, who, who is that? What? So Benny got all his folk up in the spot. The After woman, he yeah. don't let you come and stay in his place because you had nowhere to go. And you said you were trying to get away from them because them yeah. was going to get you locked back up. But you bring them too. His spot. After he done told you, I got rules and I got a son. Talking about some, my homeboys decided to, to come see me. They didn't know where you were staying at. That mean that you had to get them an address and invite them over there. And y'all been there for a minute because there was a whole a lot, lot of, of beer bottles. It was about 15 to 20 beer bottles up on that counter, man. So, Dollar was like, because Benny came around the corner and he had that nonchalant like, <laughs> who you? And, um, Blue was like, Benny? And he was like, oh, yeah. Dollar was like, get out. Get your stuff and get out. Get out. Now, I was with Dollar on that one. Get your skin. Get and, your skin and get out. <laughs> they hauled too. They hauled and then Ralph Angel came right around the corner. It was like, what the heck is going on? Now, he don't caught what they tell mm -hmm. him what's going on. And he basically looked at Benny and told Benny, you need to take your stuff. You get your stuff and, and get, get out. out of here. Yep. Now you knew you don't you don't messed up a goddamn good thing. A good thing. thing. You had a good thing. You ma matter of fact, you you stay right at your job. You, you just walk, walk out. out the door and you at your job. So not only that, he probably don't have a job no more. Probably not. But then if that happens, will the probation officer or parole officer still help out route? Still help out route. Because now that favor that you did for me kind of blew up in your face and you probably will terminate his employment. Now, all of a sudden, I can't put that good word in for you because... I wouldn't even worry about this. I, I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll, yeah, I'll go and take a few years to stop me from going back to prison. So, now, this is where Dollar got me all the way bucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I tried to give her a chance and y'all know I'm an equal opportunity reader. If you do something, I'm going to talk about you. Don't matter who you are. Yeah. And it can change from week to week. It actually could change in the middle of it a blows, freaking episode. It, it blows with the wind. It does. Um, Dollar. Now, Dollar comes in the house after all this don't happen. Well, no, she was in the house. And now after Benny don't left, now she's in Ralph's face. Basically challenging his parenting. Yeah. Now, I understand that Ralph Angel ain't the best of everything. Mm hmm Really, he sucks at a whole lot. <laughs> but he a good dad. But the boy, he's going through something that you put him through. Yeah. You did it. You put him through this. He's struggling with the fact that he just found out that this boy is really not his. Mm hmm Still trying to love him as if nothing ever happened, but you can't. I know what you know now. So he's he's fighting through all of that mm -hmm. and you're constantly telling him, you are his father. That's a key word for him because that's a trigger point at this point. Yes, yeah. you're pushing the wrong buttons. Like David Harrington, you don't want. You pushing the A-whooping buttons, that's what you're doing. So she's like, the house is a mess. Hold on, when did you get so judgmental? Because yeah. you used to live in this junky house. Exactly, and that junky raggedy trailer that you had. Yeah, so the house, huh? look at your house, it's junky around here, Blue's getting into trouble. All of y'all playing a part in that. Yeah. All of y'all. It just ain't what Ralph's doing. You're part of that too. The reason why this boy is acting out. Exactly. You're the main part. Yeah. And then Blue, I mean, they go into this real shouting match about, you this, and you that, and da 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 and you ain't doing this, and you ain't doing that, and I want equal stake in my son's life, which I agree. They need to figure yeah, this thing out, and they need to figure it out yeah. fast. For Blue's sake. Yeah. Not their own sake. Because in the, ultimately, he suffers. Yeah. Next thing we know, Blue comes out the blue, out of his room. Stop yelling Talk at my mommy like that. I was like, oh, hell. Like, what? Now mama I is super head go, I said head go to crackhead moves again. The manipulation is on point. I told you. 
the gay never dies. Yeah. It so just she wins hands. again. So now Blue gonna tell his daddy, I wanna go live with mommy. Mama. I wanna live with So you forget all about all that he done did. That's like kids don't know. But it ain't his fault. Ain't fault. This is what kids do. That ain't it ain't his fault. Whew. Okay, y'all. Now before all that happened, Ralph Angel and um I think her name Tran. Tran. The payroll lady. Let's put it like that. They gonna have something special going on. I could see it coming. I would say what I want to say. Do you think Dollar gonna lose it when she find out about this girl? Probably. Um, I, I, yeah, probably. Well, come to find out that Ralph, Angel, and Tran got a whole lot more in common than we actually thought. Like I picked up on it last week when they was making spring roll, but it <laughs> seems like both of them are at a point in their lives where basically they're living someone else's dream. Because it's a path that's already been rolled out for them. Mm -hmm. And basically, at this point in their lives, what else can they do? She's basically in a position that when her parents get older and pass away, she has to run the, um, what is it, a fish company? Or yeah, the fish company. She has to run all of that. Ralph Angel's in the same predicament. When his daddy passed away, he, he it's on him to do the... Now, but these are not the career paths that they probably would have chosen any other, you know, yeah. under normal circumstances. But it's the path that was set up for them. Yeah. So I say, like, oh, okay, you know, Ralph ain't just letting, you know, her know, you know, I got a little bit of a pass, you know, but I'm trying to, you know. She said, I my, already knew that. I, I looked at your paperwork, honey. It's on your paperwork. <laughs> so, um, if I was, had some issues with it, we wouldn't be on this date right now. They get to kiss. That's a good point. That's a good said, point. I said, okay. Now, this is the happiest I don't see Ralph Edge because he always looks like he's like two seconds from jumping off a bridge. He mm -hmm. always looks depressed. The mm -hmm. house is depressed. That we just need to open the curtains up and put some yellow paint on the wall. Sunshine. No, no yellow paint. White paint. Need to brighten it no, up. No, because that might remind him of a hospital. We need yellow. <laughs> we can change color a little later on. But that yellow going to bring some happiness Not even to antique it. white? Nope. Nope. God, we need yellow. I, I ain't feeling that yellow. Though. I ain't feeling it either, but you know. It's gonna look like grandma's house. Who grandma's house? He gonna, yellow. Change, he gonna change it. You know, mama back in the day, all that yellow? No, I don't. Freaking white and yellow curtains? No, cause my grandma had wood paneling. Got doing yellow <laughs> on the couches? My grandma had wood paneling. Oh. <laughs> so, y'all, Charlie can't catch a goddamn break. Nah, Charlie just. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just want to give her a hug, man. Me too. Well, Charlie pulls up on the land. And y'all know last week the guy that was um out there at the bar that rolled up on Jacob. She actually saw him in the field doing some survey work. But she asked him a trick question. She said, oh, are you out here because of the BP? Is it BPA? Yeah. EPA. EPA. Environmental Protection Agency. And he was like, huh? And he said, I'm just a survey. I'm just out here surveying the land. She was like, come so again? About? He said, well, do I know you? She said, yeah, I met you last night at the bar. And he was like, so he That's realized right. he said too much. Yep. So, yeah. All that, that booze get, something else is up. And she know Jacob know all about it, too. All right, so now Charlie goes to see her good Judy. The girl that's bringing her all that information. Giving her all the good tea. And the girl was like, you know what? I got more information for you. But at this time, I'm really just worried about you. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what happened in the news. I see I it I've seen all. it on the news. What is going on? And the girl gave her some really good advice. She said, you know what? You can't undo the past. The only thing that you can do at this point is basically make peace with it and deal. And Charlie was like, but 13 years and mm -hmm. I didn't pick up on nothing? But making peace with that kind of stuff, that's, it's, easy, it's easier said than, than, than done. Because almost like making peace with it in other people's mind is that you accept it. Yeah, that you... And it's I, not always I, that you accept it. And in her mind, she probably was like, okay, you cheated and you lied. And you cheated and you hid it from me. And the only way I know now is because the girl mama dies. Now you want to be... Captain Saver Dad, well, Saver Dad, Superman, whatever you want to be, and do you want Charlie and Michael to be good with it? That's 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 the part to get me when he come back and explain what happened. He want them to be good with it. He yeah. will come in. Oh, I got something to tell y'all. You know, it's on my heart. You know how people do it. I got, oh, yeah. I got a whole lot on my heart. I need to I get need out. I let it out. Clear my mind. Like come on. 
You could, you should have cleared your heart 13 years ago, player. You when had every opportunity. You had ample time to do that. And then lay it on them and was basically like, y'all are not the priority right now. Deuces. Yeah. But somebody brought up in the comment section, I had forgot all about this. Didn't Charlie make a deal that got him to New Orleans? Yeah, that's and right. And he's supposed to stay there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't really know the ins and outs of that because I don't remember and I don't care. But that was during the time when she was standing by her man and said, nah, he ain't cheat on me and all that kind of That was um, before then, right? I don't remember. Actually, I, yeah. I'm getting older now. I don't retain what I don't. But I think to. I think Charlie was getting to the place where he is. Cool. She started making peace with what happened. We moving on. Let's make sure Micah is good. We just friends. And then here you come. With the boo. And just, it's almost like every time she puts her guard down, she lets her guard down. He come back and smack he come at, he, he so, like, But wait, there's, there's more. more. So now and I'm sitting back like, okay, what else did this song be and did that he ain't say he done did? When the twins gonna pop up in the picture? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He probably got a whole whole another family across the world too. Hello. He probably married to somebody else too. So now we see Charlie. I'm gonna go ahead and finish Charlie up. Charlie comes home. She's had a rough day. <laughs> she found out about this, this land. The the magazines are out. Her son ain't really paying her no bit of attention. And she comes home with some with some real milk. Some real milk. <laughs> I a said, whole gallon at that. <laughs> I said the whole bo old boy got to about that almond milk last week. Huh? So she came back in the house with some um some whole with some two percent. And Nova is standing on the step. And I said, Nova, don't you do it? Don't I don't know if you're trying to confess don't or be you? there for your sister, but right now I just need. It you ain't to the leave. time. It ain't the time. And Charlie was reading my mind. She said, You know what, Nova? I've had a rough day. I'm tired. And I don't have time for your preaching bullshit today. Go home. Charlie came home and the first day that was laying up on her god door countertop was Davis, Davis West, West on the magazine. So now she's sitting outside <coughs> by the fire having a good old time with Davis West <laughs> in paper form. Just uh, burning his burning mouth up. up. And eating a bowl of cereal <laughs> with her 2% milk. So Micah comes home. Now Micah had had a rough day too. Hmm. Micah and them boys, I told you, them boys, mm -hmm. I'm conflicted about how I feel about it. I feel good in the way and I feel bad in exactly. the way. Exactly. Yeah, I feel good that they trying to do something real positive, but at the same time, I still think they need some, some guidance and some leadership. Yeah. Before they get locked up. So, Micah and these guys, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, they must have been trespassing. And they were just kind of hanging out at a spot. Not uncommon for country kids to do. That's yeah, how we, we did. Used to, That's how we, we used to do it. We just posted up we just, somewhere. We used to pull off side somewhere and back up and get on out and sit on top yeah. of the car and drink beer. Yeah. So, no big deal, but it is a big deal when you're living in Trump's America right now. So, <laughs> there's a guy that pulls up. with two guys that pull up in this truck while they just sit up there shooting the breeze, doing what they do. Now, Micah is ignoring Kiki because I, I, Kiki ain't with the skit. I don't think... Kiki knows the deal, and she's trying to protect her man without kind of you know, to pulling him by a short, um, short tail. But dude come over and was like, what the hell y'all doing here? This is our spot. And y'all need to learn that y'all can't come over here and do what y'all want to do. So then he ended up calling the girl a black bee. And uh, Michael just, he just clicked off. He went over to the truck and uh, ripped the Confederate flag off the truck. But you got mom. He gave the good camera to the other guy. You know, you, you know, you always got to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to catch the moment. Yeah. You know, we live in the in the era now where everything has to be documented. Yeah. So he does that, and I said, "Oh God, somebody's about to get shot." Some, you know, this is where it's gonna go down. But no, the guys went ahead and pulled off. Which I knew they were gonna do. They wanted to do that. It was all mine. And then another guy pulls up, was basically like, "Get off my property!" On my property, so, I, before he said, but he said before I called the cop, the cop. He know what happened. Hmm. He know what happened. Yeah, I caught that. So, um, now Mike goes back at home with his mom. So they're kind of having a woo moment about <laughs> everything that just happened. You know, there's no words but words. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay. I think this point, I think. 
Charlie needs to go to counseling. Mike needs to go to counseling. Ralph Angel needs to go to counseling. Everybody. All of them need to go <laughs> go to God darn counseling. Did I miss anything? No, nah, I, I think, think I, I missed anything. I think. I, oh, oh, Nova. Yeah. She texted God darn Remington and said, We can't do this. I said, That's the start. Yeah. But if the information gets out, the damage is already Yeah, done. I mean, if she find it out, I mean, that's just going to, yeah. Because, you know. know, Charlie already on shaky grounds with Nova anyway. They just tolerate each other for real, for real. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Did but y'all see, see what Charlamagne the God gave Davis West donkey the other day? The other day. <laughs> but you, I mean, but for real, for real, you find that in, in families where you have, because you know Charlie is is not that, you know. She ain't by the mom. The same mom. So and that's friction right in that's itself. friction all by itself. And probably nine out of ten, I, I think they might have talked about it. She probably got the, you know, the silver spoon in her mouth growing up. Who? Um, Charlie. She actually didn't. She didn't? No. Well, no, she well didn't. usually that does happen. Usually, uh, either the mom or the dad will treat the, the, I'm trying the to outside the kid. outside kid better than the inside kid. Yeah, because they overcompensating. Yeah, they overcompensating for you know mm -hmm. what they did wrong. And when you're kids, you don't understand that. Mm -mm. You just say, "Why does she get all the good clothes? Why does she get all the good shoes?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my sister used to go through that all the goddamn time. She well, got yeah. all the good stuff, and she ain't even my daddy's child. So, so y'all need the Lord and cancel it, bro. <laughs> Straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.